Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about the vendor price list. A vendor price list will help you to define a set of prices for specific vendors for a specific period of time on a particular product. While purchasing product from a vendor, specific vendor price lists are applied to the product. So in order, we can manage the price list in two methods. So let's head into the purchase module and we are going to deal with the product acoustic block screen. So here, as you just get into the product, you can find a purchase tab where you can just deal with multiple vendors over here. So here, Alexa Laza will be considered as the default vendor of the price, I mean, for the product. This is because Alexa is in the top of the price list. So Odo will be taking the vendors as of the priority that we have just given in the vendor list. So if you want to just change the priority over here, you can just drag and just change the vendors that you want to be in the first or to choose the vendor by default. So here you can see that with the price that is given by each of the vendors with the delivery lead time. Now let's see how can we create a new vendor. So in order to create a new vendor, you can just move on to the configuration menu and here we have vendor price list. So let me create a new vendor price list where I'm going to choose the vendor as um, yeah, Kate and he will be choosing a particular name in his uh, screen to choose the product. So he will be providing it as and here he also will be choosing um, a code for the product to search in his system. So that will be BS and the delivery lead time is just one day. And you can choose a product which is a acoustic block screen. And if it has any variant, you can apply the variant too. And the quantity will be just one. And he will be providing the product with 120 as the unit price. And you can also set a validity period for this price list. So that after this date, this uh, price list will be no longer useful. And he will be also providing a 10% of discount apart from the low budget of the price list. I mean, low budget of the price of the product. So let's save this. So as you just create a vendor price list, the vendor will be configured under the product. Uh, so you can just move on to the product and you can see that the vendor will be configured here in Odoo. Now, let's see how the vendor price list will be affected with a price list that we have just created or with the uh, vendor from the vendor list. So let's move on to the orders. And let's choose the RFQ and let's create a new one. So here, first, I'm going to choose the vendor as wood corner. So as I just choose a wood corner, here you can see that the name of the product will be as of acoustic block screen with its reference code and all. Because here we haven't given any, um, yeah, particular code or particular name to be searched in the system of the vendor. So the name will be as of the name that we have just given for the product. And you can see the price will be taken accordingly that we have just given under the um, vendor. So here you can see that uh, Wood Corner will be providing this pri I mean product with a price of 287 with a delivery lead time of 8. And as you just move on to the uh, yeah, product, you can uh, see that, I mean to the RFQ, you can see that the delivery lead time will be also uh, shown here. So uh, you know that it's uh, 10th of January today and the expected delivery of the time will be eight days. That is the delivery lead time is given as eight days. So the product will be delivering on 18th of this month. So that is shown over here. Now let me change the vendor to um, Kate, which is the one that we have recently configured. You can choose that. So as you choose the vendor, and uh, you can see that, and uh, yeah, the vendor is using a particular code as well as a particular name in his system. So that will be applied over here. And the expected delivery time that we have uh, given is just one day. So here you can see that the um, expected arrival of the product will be on 11th of 2024. And you can also find that um, the unit price of the product is 120 and uh, it 
is applying a 15 percentage of tax and you can also find the total over here now let's see the simple calculation of this this is uh, i mean th the total of the price is only 124 but actually the price have to be uh, 124 plus 16.2 uh, will be 136.20 but we know we have just applied a 10 percentage of discount for the product requested block screen so let's find the calculation over here the price of the product is 120 and it has applied a 15 percentage of tax which is 16.20 and we know the sum will be 136.2 so it has a 10 percentage of discount so 10 percentage of 120 will be uh, 12 so you can just subtract that and you will be getting a result of 124.2 as the total of the price so this is how uh, we apply price list so if we just apply price list different um, vendors will be providing the product with different prices and it's very easy to manage a price list in Odoo 17. So hope this concept is clear for you as always. Stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.